Good morning! Today is going to be so exciting because we are setting up the new office couch. Finishing up my liquid IV, but first let's make some breakfast because I am super hungry and I want to try out a new smoothie to help with bloating because it's been something I have been struggling with for the past few days and yeah, your girl is bloated so let's make a detox smoothie. We got cucumber, we got pineapple. I wish I had fresh ginger, but I don't, so I'm just gonna do a little sprinkle of my ginger powder. <laughs> and I wish I had mint, but I don't. Basil is also a great one, but again, I wish I had fresh, I don't. So we're just gonna do a sprinkle of basil. Let me add a little bit of water in this just to help it all blend together. Okay, let's blend this baby up. Okay, let's strain it. A little at a time because the opening of this jar is so freaking little. After a ton of back and forth between the strainer and the cheesecloth, here is how much we have left. It actually was like closer to up here, but we took out a lot of that frothiness so it's really a smooth juice to drink. I am gonna add some ice cubes in here, so one moment. Okay, here we go. Let's hope this is good. Oh my gosh, it's so refreshing. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I have a ton of trash, so let me go ahead and take this out right now. Okay, here is today's project. This is a couch that I ordered for the office. I'm so excited. So we're gonna take you in to here. I cleaned the office over the weekend. <gasps> I just freaking stepped in poop. Thanks, Zoe. That was insanely inconvenient, but whatever. We cleaned it up, we're good to go now. So now let's get back to the couch. Okay, so I think I'm gonna just kind of set it up here in the middle. If it fits on this side of the wall, then that's a plus. We'll just put it here. I'm gonna move the clothing rack back to the garage um, and we'll leave it there for now. But I actually, oh my God. Oh my God, notifications everywhere. I know that you're trying to fix me, but I don't wanna be like you. If you wanna take it back to the 50s, maybe I'm not the guy for you. You're dying not to work, but work until you die. You know that's true. Have you thought it? Oh, it's so pretty. Ah! It's so pretty. Okay. I'm already tired from that. Okay. Okay. Everything you own just ends up owning you. So, dear society, you suck. She's perfect. She is perfect. How gorgeous is this? And it was actually pretty easy to set up. Okay, let's see if she fits over here. Oh my gosh, wait a second. She like fits perfectly right here. This could work. Hold a minute, hold a minute. We could do this, or we could do this, and maybe put a standing lamp back there. I don't know, now I'm like unsure of what I wanted to do in this office. I thought I knew, but the fact that this fits so perfectly here, I don't know, I'm a little torn now. So here was my idea. 
I was thinking that this couch was gonna be a little too big for this side, so I was gonna put it on that side and then maybe have my mirror over there and then like decorative plant and maybe a standing lamp because right now I only use my ring light. So that's what I was thinking of doing on that side and have like some decorations, like some paintings above the couch. And then my desk, this is my office, this is my vanity. I was thinking of putting it together again like how it was at my parents' house where it was one long tabletop. So I was gonna order a new tabletop and still use the same drawers obviously and that little like leg and put it here on this wall. But now I'm so unsure. I don't know what I wanna do. What do you guys think? Keep my desk and vanity where they're at? Cause I also, I don't think this is like a cute setup at all in my opinion with the mirror in the middle. I just don't think that's really cute. So I feel like I could do so much more decoratively in my office if I switch these, like couch over there, office, and vanity on this side. They'd obviously be together. I don't know, I'm like really torn. I don't know what to do now. What do you guys think? I obviously need to move everything, but I don't know, what do you think? Couch on this side, couch on that side. Also, like if you walk in, it's just like more pleasing if like that, if this pretty green was on this side, like just more pleasing to the space in general. You know what I'm saying? Like when you first walk in. I don't know, I'm feeling so torn right now. Frick, I don't know. Oh, Johnny's calling me. Whoopsie daisy. Hi, Chulito. Johnny was super impressed to hear that I did the couch all by myself, but you guys saw, it was actually pretty easy. Johnny Boy's home. What do you think? Yo, yo. I like it because it gives the office some color. It looks really nice. It looks really nice. And the velvet feels so freaking nice. It's kind of like old school. Like Scooby-Doo old school. 70s vibe. In the meantime, it is going to stay on this side of the wall just because I have to buy a whole new tabletop. And I went to Ikea because I just wanted to buy the exact same one that I had at my parents' house, which technically is this one, but we chopped it in half when we moved to that two apartments ago and that was the most ideal thing in that situation because that apartment was so much smaller and so it just didn't fit anywhere having the desk at its full length so we had to chop it but here we just have so much more space to work with compared to that apartment so i feel like going back to the long tabletop makes sense so i went to ikea to try to get it they only had black and I was trying to think, do I want to like compromise and go with black with the white drawers? And I saw a picture of how it looks on Ikea's website and it's not cute. It's not cute. I don't love it. It said that the white would be in stock by today, but I keep it checking and it's not in stock yet. So I'm thinking if I get desperate, this could be like my, this could be my backup plan if I'm getting desperate. I'll buy the black one and then buy white contact paper to put on top kind of a waste of money, but then I'll be able to complete my office finally. So that's what I'm planning for the desk situation. And then I want to get a new rug, like a big one here in the office. And then last but not least, certainly not least, I want to get a standing lamp. Actually, it's gonna be on this side. So probably right here, it will go in this corner, a standing lamp because I'm literally just using my ring light. That's like my plan for the light situation. Um, and then once we have the couch on that side, I wanna do some paintings similar to the ones I have in the bedroom like this. I'll likely do another DIY just cause I like the personal touch that it adds. Like they're not crazy beautiful because I'm not like an artist, but I just love the personal touch because I made those. It just makes your space feel more like your own because nobody else is gonna have the same artwork because it's an original, you made it. OMG, look what I found in the garage when I put the clothing rack back. I totally forgot about this painting. I was gonna get rid of it because it's just really not my style. Like I love palm trees still, don't get me wrong, but beachy vibes as decor is just not my style anymore. But this is a perfectly good frame, <laughs> so I'm gonna, as a temporary solution, this will be the painting that goes above the couch. I just asked Johnny if it was a possibility if we could glue, like, okay, hear me out, I know it sounds stupid, but glue the ugly sides, this is the ugly side, 
glue those, like heck of glue them, maybe even a couple rounds of tape, but like <laughs> glue it back together and then finish with a contact paper all over. But he said, no, that's not an option because it will not be strong. It'll be flimsy. It'll fall apart. I'm just going to wait for this freaking tabletop to come back in stock. Right now it is saying the 16th. Before it said to the 12th, like it'll be restocked within that time frame. <sighs> nope. I am checking. I am checking every single day. Okay, got my temporary setup. I'm gonna do my makeup real quick and film my first video on the green couch. Hello, we are here editing the video I just filmed. Got some green tea with some honey. Cause, you know, bloated. <laughs> bloated. I think I should start having green tea every day. Just to help. I don't know what it is, but maybe I'm about to start that time on, I don't know. So I filmed a Bible study, so I'm editing that. I was supposed to actually film this yesterday, but I'm glad I waited because then I wouldn't have been able to film it on the couch. And I just think it looks so cozy. Like, look at this. Look at this little clip. Imagine once I have like artwork behind me, like what a vibe. Cozy, cozy vibes. Here's my tea. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just realized I haven't even updated you guys on something I did. Ah! I shared it on Instagram, but after years of saying that I want to make stickers, your girl finally made stickers. These are my very first ever usable stickers. I've been practicing with the silhouette that I have. This is just regular paper. It says May 25th, 2023 my first attempt with my silhouette is bad look at it is bad as you can see it was a disaster but I wanted to hold on to this my first attempt and that was just with regular paper this is with actual sticker paper and I made stickers I've got a lot of practicing to do but I'm really really proud of myself and so so grateful for that silhouette I'm so grateful but look this is one of my stickers. That's my handwriting. That's my sticker. And then let me show you what else. This one, that's my sticker. That's my handwriting. And then this one, which I don't know. I don't know what I was going for. Just lightning, I guess. I don't know. This one, this is probably my favorite. Joy is a daily practice. That's my sticker. I am so freaking proud of myself. This. I drew the clouds, so that's my sticker. And then this quote, they look terrible together, but you know what, it is what it is. I'm so proud. I'm so, so proud. But there's a difference. Like this is Boulder Bond, feels like butter. Like her stickers are great. Mine feels weird. I don't know. So I've got a lot of trial and error that I need to do to find like the right paper that I like. I have two other samples in my drawer that I'm going to test out. So I'm just testing a bunch of different paper right now to see what I like best. And then also just getting more used to um, my silhouette cameo, just learning how it works and how the machine operates. And then also getting familiar with Procreate. I mean, I've used Procreate for years now, but just getting better at it because I like my handwriting more on paper and then when I write on Procreate, even though I have that paper film to make it feel like you're writing on paper, it's just not the same. So I'm just trying to get familiar there so that that way I can like actually handwrite, hand letter quotes I actually like. But um, yeah, I'm just going to keep practicing and my goal is to make stickers for my planner and I'm very excited. So. That's what I'm going to be practicing and working towards, is making my own planner stickers. And then who knows, maybe if I get really good, maybe we could talk about having a sticker shop, but I'm far, far from that. So right now, I'm just getting into the motion and swing of things and getting better at making my own stickers. But I'm very excited. This has been on my like New Year's resolution list for years, and I finally did it this year. God is good, God is good.
This is my closet setup. So at the top we've got my silhouette. In the middle we've got my printer, which I think I might need a better printer because the quality is not amazing for my stickers. Um, we have this thing that I got for Christmas one year, random, but it's a label printer. <laughs> so I have that and then my sewing machine. But there's the little setup in there. It probably doesn't look like it, but I like reorganized everything in my closet. So it's a little bit cleaner in here. Hello, it is the next day and I just realized I did not end this vlog, but um, that's pretty much it. Um, I share kind of the ideas and plans. Nothing is like set in stone, but that's just kind of like the ideas I have for the office here, which I'm really excited about. And then you know that in the kitchen, we want to do a contact paper makeover on the countertops um, because that tile is just, it ain't it. But that'll be a separate vlog, so we'll be sure to share that. Definitely let me know your thoughts and ideas in the comments because I need some inspiration. I need some ideas because I'm a little like, I'm still in planning mode, you know what I mean? But we at least have the couch, so that is a plus. Um, and just need to get a few more things now to fully complete this office. But last thing I wanted to say before I end, um, Johnny cooked dinner last night, which is so helpful. Like I really, really like needed that help and it was so appreciated. And I was able to film a Bible study and edit and upload all within the same day. That never happens. That never happens. Granted, I didn't get to go to bed until like 2 o'clock in the morning, but still, that never happens where it's just like film, edit, upload all within the same day. So I'm like proud of myself, but also thankful for Johnny's help. So yeah. Okay, that is all I wanted to share in this vlog. Thank you guys so much for hanging out, and we'll see you next time. Bye!